Hi, I'm Joy Daniels with the Joy Daniels Real Estate Group. Welcome to my video blog. After the real estate market crash in 2008, the words short sale started being heard throughout the real estate community. Unfortunately, most real estate agents did not understand short sales and the push was to avoid them at all costs. After almost 10 years, the real estate market has stopped appreciating and things are looking much less grim for buyers and sellers alike. That said, short sales are still a part of the world today and I want to help you understand. with Jason Sanseverino with My Closing, a company that specializes in short sales. They are the go-to company for all of the listing agents at Joy Daniels Real Estate Group. Jason, why don't you tell us what is a short sale? Well, that's a great question, Joy. A short sale is the sale of real estate in which a seller has faced a hardship or other circumstance where the net proceeds from the sale is not sufficient enough to cover all liens against the real estate. Thank you, Jason. How do you determine if a seller qualifies for a short sale? Well, before we start a new short sale file at my closing, we will actually talk to the homeowner to determine if a short sale is the right thing for them. To qualify for a short sale, the homeowner has to face a hardship where they're unable to make the mortgage payment. Okay, so what are some typical hardships? Typical hardships are divorce, illness, uh, death of a borrower, death of a, a immediate family member, reduction of income, excessive obligations. Uh, there's also forced relocation, uh, military relocation. Those are typical hardships. Okay. Um, if a seller has surplus funds, what happens with that extra money? Well, unfortunately, if a seller has surplus funds after they pay all of their expenses, there's a good likelihood that they might not be qualified for a short sale. They okay. have to have a deficiency of income. If they make too much money and they show that they have money after all their bills are paid, uh, a short sale is most likely not going to be for them. Okay, will a seller have expenses that they have to pay in addition to the mortgage, What what whatever they get for their Well, sale? With, with my closing, we actually uh, notify the homeowners that they're not going to have any out-of-pocket expenses. So all of their traditional closing costs, such as realtor commission, transfer tax, real estate taxes, they're all included in the short sale. So the, the seller should not have any out-of-pocket expenses. And actually, many of the sellers that we work with, if they're qualified, may actually receive money from the sale of their property through, uh, through their lender as a relocation incentive to help them with moving expenses. Wow. What about buyers? Do buyers have added costs or unexpected expenses? Well, buyers should expect the typical transaction costs that they would have on a, on a traditional purchase, uh, their normal loan application, appraisal, inspection fees. Uh, in a short sale, there are some times where a buyer would be exposed to additional expenses such as past due utilities, homeowners association bills. My closing to eliminate a last minute surprise will do a complete title search to make sure that if there are any expenses that a buyer needs to pay, we can notify the buyer up front as opposed to after the short sale is approved. Thank you so much. I appreciate your coming in to talk to us and answer some questions. A short sale can be a win-win situation for both sellers that qualify and buyers that are able to complete the sale. If you would like to understand your options as a seller, you can contact Jason at 877-299-0251 or use the link below. We also have agents available that are ready to help. Call 717-695-3177 or email info at joydaniels.com. And thank you for watching today's video. Have a great day. I look forward to talking to you next week.